Good morning and welcome to another day of the video diary. And look, I'm at a train station. It's a very quiet train station. Nothing like Nottingham. Nottingham is mental at this time. There should be like seven different tracks, all with trains on, people running around. This place is just silent. It's a bit boring really. So what's happening today? I can't talk really that loud because it's that flipping quiet. Uh, I went to, I got up early, uploaded all of today's videos. So there's the gaming channel video and the up the daily vlog, uploaded them before nine o'clock in the morning, like a boss. Um, then I went to my decision lecture after doing a bit of work. Bits did some work, went to my decision lecture, did the decision, came back, did a bit of work, had some dindins, I had some beans and toast, and now I'm here at the train station to go to London to buy a heat mag. But I came down early, as per usual, as I always do, I always get to places earlier than I have to be by a considerable amount of time, so I can hang around, get used to the surroundings, you know. Um, and I went to wander into, like, around the shops and stuff, basically, and I went to PC World, and they had a Chromebook in. And, oh, it's sexy. Oh, they also had a really nice, I just want a really thin, well, not even necessarily thin, I want a thin laptop with a long battery life. I think Chromebook is my best bet for my price range. It's just, is it too limiting? Because it's not Windows and I can't run Windows apps and stuff, programs on it and stuff. Is it too limiting? And I just don't know the answer to that question. Ah, stressful. Anyway, yeah, but it's so, it is really nice. Else, I've realized that my only form of entertainment is my phone, which batteries will die if I use it as entertainment, probably. So I've kind of weaned myself off my phone and you. You're my only form of entertainment, so it either means having a really long video and playing with you all the time, which is probably the most likely thing to happen. I didn't bring my big camera because it would get damaged and stuff, uh, and I've got to look after it that way if I do take it. Um, but I brought you and my phone, so I've got to look after my battery. So I bought a newspaper, like a grown up, and I'm going to do this on the train. Do this, lol. It's not a puzzle book, but you know, it's got puzzles in it. You never know. Yofo, that was just for you, Freddy. Lol. When are you going to learn, train? No one wants to go to Portsmouth. People want to get away from Portsmouth. That's why everyone here is going to a frickin' London. London, 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 London. No one's waiting for you, just leave. Yay. Oh. Good afternoon. Kinda wish I brought my laptop, I'm not gonna lie. Are we nearly there yet? Are we nearly there yet? Yes, we are. Oh yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish I brought my big camera now. Take loads of cool photos in London. <laughs> I'd have to take make do with this one. Like an amateur photographer. <sighs> Speaking of beautiful photos, good old London. Oh, look at that, looks like something sort of like a war game, like in the background. Like in the the hell, it's, like it's a lot further than I thought it would be. Jeez. Try not to use my phone so I don't waste the battery. Or, or you so I don't waste your battery, but there's not much I can use for you, really. We're here. Almost, it's like 18 miles further down this road. I'm so excited, I keep like looking back up the train, like a little child. Eek, <laughs> well I'm not tired anymore. Look, you, this is what you call in the train a proper train station. Bloody bath, spa, look at this. Oh, oh, it's nerding out. The good old reliability of train tickets. I never get through them areas, I always have to ask for help. So unfair. Phew, got through that one. Weird, it'll only work on the underground. So I'm not allowed to get off the train at Paddington, which that was, but I'm allowed to get into the underground. Makes sense. No idea where I'm going, just guessing. I'm not on this list, so, or that list. Hmm. But if I think, if I go to somewhere like Waterloo, I know where I am at Waterloo. I'll go from there, get the North Line, I think. I love the rush everyone's in in London. So, so cute. I'm so clever. Waterloo, Camden Town, Northern Line, rules man. Without a single hint, I didn't see where I wanted to go, but I saw Waterloo, I like Waterloo, let's go to Waterloo, you'll be able to get there from there, you can get anywhere from Waterloo. And the Northern Line is awesome. Come from no up, north, up north. Welcome to Camden. So it's, it's a little bit different to, to places like Bath, but uh, pretty nice. Well that place does not feel like a pretty safe place to vlog in. But I've, it's okay. I've come down a side street. I've found a Sainsbury's. We're going to find out where we're supposed to go from there. It must be at Sainsbury's. It's always safe. Here we are, the barfly. Not what I expected, but this place is mental, so anything's possible. Here we go. Look, prime example as to why this place is so weird. Look at that. Look, nice, posh, modern looking building. Next door, there's just this random, got these really like grotty looking market. This place makes no sense. Oh, Bill. underground, go towards King's Cross for dinner. We've got 
got about an hour to kill before I can pick up my tickets and before the stuff starts, so maybe an hour and a half, why not? Still got these bloody newspapers, come from a bin. I went to King's Cross so that I could try and see the uh, platform nine and three quarters. Not even allowed in without a ticket. <laughs> Childhood ruined. Don't get me wrong, this place is bloody scary, especially some areas of town, mother of God, like specifically where the freaking gig is. Imagine that road at like half ten at night. <laughs> I'm basically staying in the shelter of like train stations at St Pancreas behind me. Look how beautiful it is. I love London. I love how diverse London is. I wouldn't be able to deal with it. There's no way near enough countryside around for me. But look, there's just an energy here that you can't explain. There's, I've never seen anything like this. It's incredible. And I really want some food, but I want to sit down and eat it. And I'm thinking, look, there's a Burger King there and I'm blurry. And I'm thinking, look, there's a Burger King there, there's a Mackey D's down there. I wanted to come, oh, there's a bigger Mackey D's down there, look. Just, you can't see, that's miles away. Uh, yeah, I wanted to come down for a, like a pub lunch, like a steak or something. I didn't really want a burger, but I think it's a bit weird. These newspapers are really getting on my freaking nerves. It's freaking London, why aren't there more bins? You can't move for bins in Nottingham. This is horrendous. Ah, okay, yeah, so I'm recomposing myself. I kind of need a wee. So I've got to try and crib one in uh, St. Pancras. Uh, St. Pancras, whatever it's called. Uh, and then we're going to find some food food. Some nommy nommy nom noms. I'm not going to lie, this is an immense adventure. I'm really, like, excited in kind of like a really strange fight or flight kind of way. But I do immensely wish that I had a companion. Just someone else to, like, you know, outrun if shit gets real. So wish I had my better camera with me as well. Oh man, it would have been awesome, but then I'd have been properly worrying about that. I need to find a flipping bin for these. Oh, look how beautiful it is. I love buildings like this, they're so cool. Yes, thank God for that. The London Eye at night time. No! Oh, there's the Shell building. God, do you remember however many weeks ago it was in summer when Summer in the City was on? This place was absolutely roasting and loads of people were around and Emily was here and it was incredible that day was. Sean and Tom, it was really good. Memories, tunes over there as well. I came to come and have a look at what the, the river looked like. Oh, Big Ben look behind it, oh my God. Oh my God, tourist. Look at that. Cities are so much nicer at night time. I could deal with cities at night time. It's in the day that they suck balls. Could have sworn that was Freddy then. So we just walked past with Freddy's exact voice. I just went, hey, YOLO. I was like, whoa. Right, well, I have to head up to actually where the actual thing is, shouldn't I? Instead of looking at the nice areas of town. Open Gangnam Style! We so could do better than that. Also, you know, when I was on the train, I was walking, not the train, on that bridge, walking down talking to you. I turned the camera off just the right moment because two guys walking along in Halloween masks walked up past me, like towards me, lifted their arms up as if they were going to like scare me or hug me or whatever, realised my arm was out and just like, and like took a step back, like, well, that's weird. I out weirded the guy walking around with a Halloween mask. He then weirded out the guy behind me. Score! The advantages of vlogging. Right, anyway, I really do need to get to the right area of town now. Uh, technically, it started an hour ago, but Tommy M, Tom Milson, doesn't start till quarter to nine, because he's headlining, because he's pro. Amazing, amazing, amazing balls. So, I'm gonna hang out. I love London. If I could have uh, the advantages of London, like the busyness and the stuff to do, and things like the nice quietness of the countryside, Underground again. It's a lot better now. It's not rush hour anymore. So a lot better. So the plan of attack now is to go to the place, get my ticket, get in, wait for Tom Milton. Yeah. And then we leave, we get the hell out, we've got to get to Paddington Station before half eleven. It should give us an hour. It should be plenty of time, but I've got to figure out what lines Paddington's on. Because if you remember I went down to Waterloo and then on. So I've got to figure something out. Sounds like the music they played on the Titanic. Holy crap, we're gonna die. Oh, hats off to him though. He's a flautist, he's pretty good. This is not violin. La, no, 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 no. I'm a coyote to read my palm and I shall wipe to 
really good the sound was really really good as Tom Wilson always is Tom Wilson's an insane musician it's unreal he tried things that I wouldn't know how you'd managed to, to be able to do half of the stuff that he attempted to do uh, it was a bit ambitious not gonna lie lines was a bit bit of a mess up but not, not, a, not a problem I'm um, hopefully I haven't missed anything interesting he's done all of his best songs and stuff um, and then I had to go because they're running late. I'm not sure if you heard me earlier. Uh, they're running late, so they're still going to be there for a bit longer. I don't know when it's going to end. And I am terrified of missing the train back and being stuck in London all night. I think I'm getting good at this tube system because I didn't necessarily know the way back. I knew you went. I went to Waterloo, which is the other side of London. I don't have time to go there. And then I went up on the Northern Line. So what I've done is I've come off the Northern Line. I've got to go to King's Cross, and then from King's Cross I then take Central Eastbound. I think the guy's casually playing the harp in the tube, as you know. Uh, OCD! OCD! Okay, yeah, so now I'm going to, to King's Cross, and then from King's Cross I'm going to take the central line, or the circle route, to thingy. This is why I left early, because I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Um, I should be able to do it in time, though. What time's it now? It is, yeah, 10 to, loads of time. I'm going to get there for half past. Ease there. I'm still going to rush there as much as possible. It's half the fun. God. But I like London. Imagine how weird I look right now. Just imagine. Just go third person a second and imagine how weird I look. And yet everyone's so busy they can't they can't really take notice. They can't really do anything, you know? For example, I wouldn't have the balls to do this right now, what I'm doing now, in any other city. And my god, I've tried multiple cities. I've tried Leeds, I've tried Nottingham, I've tried Bath, I've tried other ones I can definitely think of right now. Um, I wouldn't be able to do this in any other city, but yet in London it seems okay. And I don't know why. I love London. If only there was a countryside here. Grr. Right, okay, concentrate now. Hammersmith and City, Metropolitan and Circle Lines. Platforms 1 and 2, which one takes me where I want to go? Oh, this one looks complicated. Okay, so orange, yellow. Orange and yellow. What's that mean? Phew, I can relax now. Have myself a mint imperial. Known full well that I am going to be here for my train which is a destination Newport, platform four, oh dear. There we are, platform four to Bath Spa. Brilliant, where is it? It's all the way over there, mine, so there's no true rush. Oh, I can, I can relax now. I was, I was not chilling out at the place uh, because I knew full well that I would just be wetting myself. Am I supposed to go this way? I feel like I'm not supposed to go this way. I'm gonna go this way. And go all the way. I've got half an hour to play with. Well, 20 minutes. So that's good. I think my train's here though. Yeah. Yeah, I was on the trip. You recording? Yes. Oh, you're out of blow. You're out of focus though, aren't you? You bugger. I was on. I was sat there listening to the music. I was like, oh my god, this sounds awesome. Blah 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 blah. And then always in the back of my mind I was like, what time is it? Are you going to be able to get back? Because if I hadn't, if I hadn't got back in time to, um, to <laughs> if I hadn't got back in time to get this train. The next train is tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning and I don't personally know what I'm going to do in London all night. Specific, specifically considering the fact that I have lectures at 9 o'clock and I have to pay for the train tickets and good, it would have been a nightmare. Having said this, all of the ticket things are open and no one has asked for my ticket yet. So really we need to just get the underground to Paddington and then just walk onto a train. I doubt there's going to be many stewards on at this time of night. Right. Wow. Security. Ah, Bath, you're so beautiful. Ah, oh, kind of missed you. Fudge that. I'm not waiting for a bus. It's going to be about 15 minutes. So, fudge it. I'd rather pay the money for a taxi. I am sick of sitting on trains. Man, bloody hell. This is the third, the third freaking newspaper I've read today. I've read the Metro, I've read the Eye, and I've read 
What's this one? I didn't buy this one. This was on the train. The London Evening Standard. Mental. I really do need to look into like different ways to entertain myself that isn't with my phone because my phone battery can't hack it. It really can't hack it. Bless it. Um, yeah, people are there with like iPads and crap like that. I could have taken like my Kindle, but I forgot I was going to and I forgot. But then even if I did have it, then I'd have to like look after it and worry about it and stuff. And it was awkward as it was like holding my coat in the, in the place. So yeah, I'm currently looking for a taxi rank. Good luck, Jamie. Um, it's half past one in the morning and I want to get home because I want to go to bed. I'm knackered. I've had three hours sleep last night. And now this. When am I up in the morning, you ask? Come on, stupid question. Seven o'clock every week. Come on. Step two. Step two. <sighs> Hello, Bat. Hello. I do love London. I love how hectic it is. And I really, really love the city. It's incredible how how busy it can be. And yet, like, oh, I don't know. There's something about it. There's an energy in London that I've never experienced in any other city that I've ever been to. I've like the five that I've been to. Um, and I really, really love it. But it's too busy for like all the time, if you know what I mean. Like here, this is nice, this is nice. It looks part of no scary neighborhoods where you think you're gonna get stabbed as you walk down the street. And um, there's like, I don't know where I'm walking to, by the way. Um, and there's no, look, I can do this. But I could do that in London anyway. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Basically then today as a roundup has been jolly good fun. It was nerve-wracking. I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't been out. I Technically, I've been out, lol. Yeah, um, I've been out on t down, technically, to go to the Tom Milson gig, and it was incredible. I really enjoyed it. Um, the music was really good. Like, the bass was in was insane bass. Like, I was just stood there, and I could feel, like, my T-shirt rippling because this bass speaker's, like, above the crowd, and it went, and then it just, whoa. I love that shit. I love that kind of crap. Man, the lights were pretty cool as well. They weren't amazing, but they were pretty cool. And the sound was good. I'm slightly annoyed myself that I didn't get to stay longer. And I'm annoyed that I took my coat because it was limited my movement. I couldn't like dance because I was definitely going to start dancing at some point. I felt the rhythm building. And then, um, yeah, I think I wish, I de if I'd definitely do it again, I'd definitely go down to London for the day, for the net day. Well, yeah, we're definitely planning on going down in the future to go like shopping and stuff. But definitely planning to do that. But then on top of that, I would definitely go down for like the evening to go to gigs again if another one would to come up. But I'd definitely drag someone with me because it's a bit awkward on your own, especially when I don't dance. I don't particularly drink a lot and i have like restricted because I've got to hold stuff. I think I can get a taxi down here. He says crossing his fingers, I remember it. I think this is where we got the taxi from last time, when uh, mother and father were down here. Um, so yeah, that's been it really. The train, I just need something entertaining to play with, I think, but then I wouldn't have taken it because I should have just taken my iPod. I've left my head, my earphones. I've left in Nottingham, like a moron. I freaking love those in earphones. They cost, they cost a sizable amount of money for what they are. And I bloody go and leave them, I'm not paying it again. And I'm not buying cheap ones either, because I don't like cheap earphones. So I was, I was livid. So I need, I need something better. Which will probably come around at Christmas when I get whatever I get for like a portable computer, whether it is I get a netbook, a Chromebook, a laptop, or a tablet. I don't want a tablet though, but the Microsoft Surface. It's kind of cr a bit of both, isn't it? Um, that says taxes, right? And there's no, I'm gonna die. Well, that's it, my time on this earth is now limited. I'm gonna die. Because I've got nowhere to go. I have to walk back. Now I'm gonna go back to the bus stop and just camp at the bus stop for a bit. I hope to haul it there though. So yeah, next time it happens, I wanna take a friend with me. The train ride is bloody well dull, but I didn't have anyone to talk to. Last time I had like Tom and Sean, and it was the best. It was the best. The tube system is still awesome. It's still second to none, I love the tube. Um, even when I'm on my own and I don't know I think vlogging makes anything fun really when you're on your own you just pull out a camera and vlog it's great just entertain myself I've got I've always got a friend to talk to haven't I <sighs> I just want to get home I just want to get home now sad face <sighs> I'm a 
I'm hungry as well. I only had a Subway for dinner. I thought it was fitting since I was on the tube all day. I didn't. I, I kept trying McDonald's and they were all just packed. So there's balls to this. Subway, it's empty. And I realised why as well, because the guy, the customer service is in London. Woo! Pretty top notch. I mean, that guy was so good, he'd probably already served like 20 trains worth of people and they just devoured the food because it was so delicious uh, before I'd even gotten there. So, yeah, he was pretty freaking good, him. Um, apparently, there's a, it's a mess when I get back because it's Wednesday. Wednesday's the night that everyone goes out. I've put my name down to go out like next Friday or something for the simple reason I think I need to now because Lovely goes out once a week. That's that's my reason. Lovely goes out once a week, so I want to go out at least once. The f is that? Right. Oh. And I'm going to try and... I don't want to do the pre-drink thing, so I'm going to avoid the pre-drink as much as possible, and I just want to go out and have fun. And I'm going to try to go out and have fun, because Lovely goes out all the time and has fun. And I went out today and had fun. But whenever Lovely goes out, I always feel like really, like massively protective, like to new levels of the word of protective. Whenever we was at home, we'd always be like, oh no, uh, I don't only go out to look after her to make sure she's safe. And I feel, I don't know, I don't know what twisted form of logic I have that if I go out, then I feel that I can protect her better. But it's logic, oh, that's a growling horse. What engine you got on that bugger? So yeah, but maybe if I go out, maybe I'll enjoy it. Maybe. And maybe that'll mean that I won't feel as depressed. I don't mean depressed, like lucky after he when Lovely goes out. Maybe. That's my idea in a way. I don't know what I'm thinking. Because I went out today and I had really good fun. Well, relatively amounts of good fun when you're on your own. It's not really a good thing when you feel lonely just to go to London on your own for the day. But I've had fun, so. Just a shame no one could come with me. I don't want to talk about it. I did have fun today. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you the mess of our flat. I'm going to go the hell to bed. So I've got to get up at 7 in the morning. Yeah, like always. Um, it's no, no big deal. I always get to bed post 2. So, no big deal. No big whoopie doo. He's drunk off his face. However, he does have a charge in his mobile phone battery. So I, uh, kind of jealous of him there. Yo, folk. But yeah, just reverting back, just because I want to make a point entirely clear. Tom Milson is a freaking boss. He is so clever, it's absolutely unreal how good he is at music and stuff. And yeah, okay, it's not as good as his recorded stuff, but whose live stuff isn't as good as their recorded stuff? You know, that was a pretty damn good go. It's a pretty good go, you know, it's a good effort. And he's just basically really, really cool. And there's drunk people freaking everywhere. God, I love Wednesdays. Saturdays aren't as bad as this. It's just Wednesdays. I don't know why Wednesdays are a more drinky day than Saturdays. They just are. <sighs> I'll join them one day. Maybe next week. Next Friday is not is a date that's been pounded around, apparently. So maybe. Maybe. Got time to bottle out that. I've got a week. <laughs> well, brace yourself. Just stayed up for me because she's cool. <laughs> Yeah, and she also tried to wake everyone up as well when she came in. <laughs> Just, give me, what did you do? Shh! How was that? <laughs> I didn't, I was just filming it. Oh! <laughs> it was too slow though. I think he's a bit, he's a bit out of it. This is our Freddy. Freddy. They haven't met Freddy yet, have they? No, they haven't. This is Freddy. This is paralytic Freddy. Yeah, don't he's, worry about him. He's been, he's been busy. Yeah. Just eating so much kebabs. He's, so yeah, he's passed out. He's, he's sleeping there because he can't find his, he can't find his key. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. <coughs> Gross. See what I mean about not wanting to drink too much. Exactly. Point proof, I think. Kinda need to get him into his room. I kinda wanna go to bed. Uh, I'll go have a drink. Throw him in his room. And then just pff, go to bed. Lol. Videos are all sorted. Check my emails, obviously. Pff, I'm a child of the internet. Ah.
this hasn't been used much today. I need to buckle down on work tomorrow. Tomorrow's work a day, so. Freddy, you've got to wake up, dude. Freddy. <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to bed. Seriously, go to bed now. I'm not good. Oh, it's been a good day. 102 clips in this video. Catch you later.